Hi guys, it's Infinity and welcome back to the Infinity Experience. This time I am in Krakow, Poland, the second largest city in this beautiful country, Poland. Now I have been living here for the last three months and in this video I want to share with you my personal experience and opinion about this magnificent, amazing city. At the same time, I will compare it to my experience in Ukraine and look at the differences when it comes to the you know, cost of living, uh, the culture, the mentality, the people, the dating culture, as well as you know the transportations and everything in between that I noticed while I'm living here in Poland. The cost of living. Now, the cost of living in Poland tends to be 33% more than Ukraine. So you will pay extra for you know the flat you will pay more uh, money for the food and uh, transportations and anything else you buy but the value and the quality it's higher and better than in ukraine because uh, poland is under the european uh, you know union so everything treated in the same uh, values and standards uh, in, like in other european countries so um, I would say if you are from, you know, England, uh, USA and countries, uh, you know, use different currencies like this, it's a good place for you to come and still you will not notice the difference and it will be cheaper for you to come here and enjoy the summer or even live here. Why not? Now let's look at the culture and the mentality of people. So I would say Polish people are, let's say, more open-minded and they are going toward the, towards the um, European way of thinking uh, in terms of you know, their thoughts, their way of uh, you know, um, looking at life and also the way they dress. Whereas in uh, Ukraine, um, they are still in this traditional way of thinking and they still you know holding you know their you know you know their past and uh, i would say like um ukraine is ukraine you know when you go to ukraine you will feel you are in ukraine you will not feel you are in europe whereas uh, the minute i arrived to poland i could feel this is a european city and by the way poland is located in the heart of europe it's not in east europe so don't ever say to polish person that Poland in, is in East Europe, they will be very cross with you. Dating in Poland versus in Ukraine. Now, the Polish girl don't look at the relationship like, you know, in a traditional way. She doesn't expect you to pay for her. She doesn't expect you to take care of her. But if you do that, that would be nice. And I always recommend the first date you pay first if you are a man and dating a Polish girl. But generally speaking, uh, Polish girls look at the relationship from the point of, uh, you know, equality. So everything equal and we do it together and she works, you study and you work and you study and you share everything together. Whereas in Ukraine, women expect you to take care of them. Women expect you to pay for every single, you know, uh, uh, think you do with her you know if you go to restaurants you must pay if you rent a flat with her you pay for that and you take full kind of uh, charge of the financial situation so the general you know rule of thumb is that you don't need to be rich to date uh, uh, Polish girls where in Ukraine you need to be financially stable this is the truth now let's look at the infrastructure in Poland versus Ukraine. I mean, Poland has amazing, amazing roads, transportation, you know, uh, parks, everything organized. There's a road for cycling, a road for walking, a road for, you know, you know, for the cars and everything working perfectly. Except one thing, the, tra the trams usually in Poland, especially in Krakow, they keep changing their routes. I don't know why, but I noticed the, you know, the tram I used to take a week ago uh, start to take a different direction. So that's my only complaint about, you know, um, uh, transportation in Poland. But when we look at Ukraine, um, I would say Ukraine needs a lot of work to reach this uh, standards that uh, Poland has. Because in Ukraine, there is a lot of problems on the roads. Even when you walk, most of the roads are not very, let's say, 
you know, um, organized or the pavement it is sometimes you don't see a pavement, you know, it's in Ukraine. But the trams uh, in Ukraine works perfectly and the underground as well works perfectly. So I don't have as well, you know, much complaint about uh, that area um, when it comes to transportations and traveling around Ukraine. Now the final point is the safety. The level of safety in Poland is very high in comparison to Ukraine, of course, before the war. Um, I, you know, looked uh, up on the internet and I see the data and it says, you know, um, Poland, Poland is one of the, you know, safest country in Europe. So it's pretty safe. If you are a woman, it's, uh, you can come here and you will feel 100% uh, safe in this uh, beautiful country. And uh, yes, um, also you can walk at night and I've been here for three months. I haven't had any problem and I feel 100% uh, safer than, you know, living in London, for example. In Ukraine, I never had any problem. I always felt safe, but uh, I don't know about you guys. Some people have, uh, you know, different experiences, but uh, I never had any bad uh, experience there. And I would say Ukraine to me, it's pretty safe. That's all for today, guys. If you have any question regards, you know, coming to Poland or moving to Poland, you can leave a comment below this video and I will keep making videos while I'm here and exploring this magnificent city.